Telegraph Bay, Victoria, one of the locations for the new, new Living Wreath Memorials, which was just newly regulated here in Canada. And what a Living Wreath Memorial is, is where you can put your ashes in a living reef and the living reef is then deployed into the ocean. There are several locations along Vancouver Island. The reef itself is cast using crushed oyster shells, um, ocean-friendly sand or, or clean sand, um, ocean-friendly concrete, which is meaning that it is a low alkaline base to it so that it's, it's less harmful or non-harmful to the oceans, as well as the cremated remains. And they're incorporated into the mixture itself, all as one, and then poured into the, into the mold to form the reef. This is the size of, of one of the actual reefs, although there are no remains in this one. As soon as the vertical structure arrives on the sea floor, it gives protection to the small marine life and they are able to begin to flourish, whether it is just basic sea anemones or if it's just planktons. But they start to actually arrive because there's now vertical structures and protection, drawing in the larger mammals. Um, they create living habitats for um, areas that, that the sea itself is barren. And people can feel good knowing that, that their loved ones are in the ocean providing help back to the earth. It started in California with a gentleman named, by the name of Robert Sarney who actually uses partial fundings um, to support his sea turtle rescue efforts um, as well as the Global Protection Project and a portion of each sale from the Canadian locations as well goes back to um, the sea turtle rescue. The design of the reefs is that there's more than one because as each reef gets placed within meters of each other, it creates not only habitat space within the reef, but also around. With Telegraph Bay being here and Spring Bay being just a little bit south, just beyond the point is where the, where the deployment areas begin and then it just travels a little bit further down. Myself and another scuba diver, depending on the area, will actually carry the urn down to the bottom of the sea. Um, it can be viewed by family if they wish, either by standing on the seashores or if they wish to have a boat chartered in, and come along. GPS coordinates will be given to the family members so that they will know the exact spot that the reef has been placed. What happens if they have a really special place that's not one of your locations? Can they still have that? They can contact me and depending on where it is, I will hazard the guess of yes at the moment. Um, but I would also have to clear that with the Department of Fisheries. Um, as well as local municipalities to ensure that the location itself is appropriate. We're now at Sands Funeral Cremation Chapel here in Victoria discussing different green alternatives. We send the cremated remains to Switzerland uh, where they're then uh, transformed into uh, a diamond, gemologist tested and certified, um, and you end up with something as beautiful as what we see here. Um, with the remainder of, of, the, of the cremated remains, what you can do is, is uh, plant them with something similar to this, where uh, the cremated remains are planted with seeds of a tree, a cherry tree in this case, and, uh, can, and the person can live on in that memory. We're seeing a growing trend where people are, are interested in minimizing the impact uh, on the environment after a death. The main focus is on, is on two areas. Now, cremation as itself is not the the most green option, however there are some choices that can be made. For the cremation caskets, the ones that we promote within our funeral home are of natural materials. And so once cremated, uh, the toxins released into the environment are minimal. The urns that we provide are all made of natural materials as well, uh, those being either of, of paper, so a papier mache, or of woods, softwoods as well. There's a, a, a paper bowl that goes underneath and, and the cremated remains would go inside. And so when you're at the beach or on a boat, you're able to put this in the water and it's, it floats temporarily. Green burial is actually the, is greener uh, in the overall outcome than, than a green cremation. So green burial primarily consists of, of using a, a casket for burial that is uh, free of any glues, stains, resins or, or screws so that when uh, interred into the earth at the cemetery that the, the impact on the environment is, is, is minimal. Now there are green sections 
in, 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 in most cemeteries. There are some hybrid sections as well that, that have components of both a traditional burial and a green burial. And I would advise families just to, to visit each cemetery and find out which one is best for them. Every family that we serve here at Sands, uh, we have a program where a tree is planted in northern BC to help reforest uh, the environment. Our, our motto here is to never say no, to make sure that uh, the life that was lived um, is, is remembered and, and uh, the story is told. As we learned today, there are some definite benefits for pre-planning your funeral and cremation celebration of life. I'm Tara Keeping with Community Producers.